awful lot has happened over the past three months when it comes to the future of the Ruth Gordon Amphitheater at Marymount Park here in Quincy. The Friends of the Ruth Gordon Amphitheater have been founded and they have put together an entire summer series of free events to take place on Friday nights. So uh, Sarah Trina Callard is back with us for an update on uh, Sarah what's gone from uh, fear of losing the amphitheater to now uh, and a full schedule of events. <laughs> thanks for coming back. Good to see you again. Thank you Joe. Thanks for, for having me. Yeah, yeah we're excited. Um, so much has happened. It's been a very, very busy time. <laughs> I can only imagine. It was March 28th. We were in the same studio having a chat uh, about the possibility of losing the amphitheater, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I I want to say that uh, we, we are not 100% there yet oh. um, in terms of just feeling 100% secure, you okay. know, because I have not yet um, spoken with the mayor and um, I, I look forward to speaking with him. I have told, you know, Dave Murphy that I'd be happy to meet with him. But until I, you know, <laughs> until I hear from the mayor that we have a long-term commitment, there's always a little bit of, of hesitancy. Okay. But we just have right. to take each day as it comes and um, celebrate our victories. And um, right now, we're just thrilled that the city is, is at least for now, working with us. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, great things are happening. So <laughs> I guess the biggest thing is that the Friends of the Ruth Gordon Amphitheater has been founded, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. How did yes. that happen? Uh, you know, tell us about that process. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's really just like any, any group, it, you know, comes coalesces, you mm -hmm. know, it's just been coalescing. And I mean, I, I really feel like it was founded from, <laughs> from a, a while, a, a while ago okay. as a group. I mean, if you want to say incorporated or official, you know, we're still, um, we, we are incorporated, but we haven't um, taken the next step to nonprofit status yet. Okay. Who are the friends of the Ruth Gordon Amphitheater, Sarah? Who are, the know? friends are, I mean, we are, we are an all-inclusive group. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We are very all-inclusive. And, and every day when I go on to either our email group or we, we kind of have two different groups, you know, the, the email group and the, the Facebook group, and now we've started a web page. Okay. Um, so we do have a web page that um, is going to be uh, friendsofrga.org. Okay. And, um, uh, you know, so that'll be great once we get it um, developed. But yeah. we, so we've reserved the, the website yeah. and we're just now starting to, to um, you know, build that. Sure. So. How many of you are there, would you say, even just, just oh, roughly? Oh, gosh, that's really hard to estimate. Okay. Um, but there's hundreds, I mean, probably thousands. <laughs> wow, okay, wow. Yeah. I would say there's probably, I mean, uh, because there are so many people that actually do not officially join. First of all, there are so many people that are not on Facebook. True. Um, there's an awful lot of our younger folks are on Instagram, and we're also right now creating an Instagram page okay. as well. Right. Um, and then there are so many people that just are, are not on social media at all, and they're on the, um, the email group mm -hmm. that we hear from. Um, I would have to say that, you know, when you just kind of pull all that together, we're probably up around, you know, over a thousand. Wow. Yeah, okay. I, I would I would guess. That would be my guess. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was really amazing to see. Uh, and I think even folks uh, in the city were surprised to see the passion um, that erupted, you know, out of the possibility of losing the facility. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it just... It looks beautiful in the new park now, I feel like. I mean, I really feel that the way that they've um, done the plantings on next to the, the stairs and the new pavilion, and mm -hmm. it actually places, I feel, you know, I, I feel like it places the amphitheater in a really nice way. Yes, yeah, I saw it on uh, Flag Day. It is much more prominently displayed now as part of pageant yeah. field rather than just kind of you know off to the side yes. have there been any improvements to the facility itself to the amphitheater itself they they have started some improvements um so the elect the electric work is is done okay so um we we have uh modern power now yeah, about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're not looking at the um the old uh the conduit out, outlets, that was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we have, uh, we're, we're powered up. Excellent. <laughs> we're ready to go. Good step. Um, and uh, we are also, you know, there's, there's some, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's some, uh, there's a lot of moss that has yes. kind of, isn't 
isn't really the nice kind of moss. It's kind of uh, unsightly. So they're scrubbing that off oh. um, with a, with a uh, mason and power washing, and then they're going to repoint um, all of the uh, the stonework yes. and rebuild the little um, pieces of stone that have there's a little a few parts that have crumbled like right next to the um, the stage. Yes, it's a little section. Yep. Okay. So okay. they're they're going to do that night. And also, they're going to paint the railings. Excellent. They need, need yes, to be done. Yes, they need to be painted and, uh, and, and, and tightened up a bit. Sure. Um, so, you know, some uh, someday soon we'll probably have, like, a continuous rail, okay. which is better for, you know, code. Um, and uh, But for now, this is, this is good progress. Starting to be, spruce it up, it's yeah. It's going to be looking nice. And, yeah. One of the concerns was um, accessibility, right? Handicapped yes. accessibility. Yes, yeah. yes. Has that been addressed? You know? Yes. Well, we have a fabulous architecture team um, that has come together and, and has been working on this. It's actually a, a lot more challenging than you might think. Mm -hmm. um, putting putting a ramp um, just into the, the mid-level, that mezzanine level, mm -hmm. is, is not as challenging as getting a ramp, um, an additional ramp or, or an offshoot of that ramp that will go to the stage. Okay. So um, these are the challenges that the architecture team has been working on. And I'm just, uh, I want to say, you know, a big thank you to Maria Mulligan and um, Bruce Callard, um, James Barron, and uh, my good friend Michelle Letterer from uh, Harvard Graduate School of Design over there. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, she lives in New York and she, and everybody has just come <laughs> together around yeah. this, um, this project has been a great sharing of ideas, and we even have um, uh, a young architecture student who has uh, joined us as well. Really? <laughs> so, oh, so it's turned into a, a teaching environment <laughs> at the same time. It is. It's, it's fabulous. But there's yeah. all kinds of great um, ways to approach it. What yeah. we didn't want to do is just kind of steamroll in with yeah. a haphazard. You know, this is a historic landmark, and we hope to get, you know, that status. Mm. Oh, really? Eventually, okay. yes. Well, it'll be 40 um, years old next year, right? Yeah, yeah, so um, so pretty soon, I think you know we, we could go for that, um, but you know we don't we want to handle it um, carefully. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, certainly Marymount Park is already, uh, you know, a historic site. Uh, right. Right. The city, right. Yeah. So it makes sense, I guess, uh, to take the next step forward, right? Yeah. But in terms of accessibility for now, yes. Um, I was very happy to hear from from Dave Murphy that the um, the bathrooms there yep. are handicap accessible. Okay. And our top level of the amphitheater has always been handicapped accessible. Because so it's that's right fabulous. there at sidewalk level, right, <laughs> yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah, so that's fabulous. So okay. um, we're actually going to, you know, reserve spaces for gotcha. anyone in, in wheelchairs or who has a walker and can't make it down Some and wants to, issues. you know, sit there okay. at that top level. And then fortunately that top level does kind of connect, you know, mm -hmm. it does connect with the bathrooms, which yeah. are also on that top level. Yes. So. Okay. Oh, very good. Yeah. And lighting, I think lighting was a concern also. Has that been addressed? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Um, actually, I, we're just going to, fortunately, like our, most of our events do not really go into the, the nighttime right. hours. Yep. And it'll just be like, just starting to get dark, perhaps, yep. at the end of um, some of our events, except for our movies, <laughs> which, which are purposefully <laughs> at, in the evening. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, so for lighting, um, we have just a couple of, uh, you know, what would you call it? Um, uh, mobile, portable, lights. Li portable yeah, there you go, okay. <laughs> portable lights that um, that we're setting up. That'll be yeah. adequate for a Yeah, and it, honestly, yeah. that's what they recommend for a, s for a small outdoor venue oh, like this. Okay. Um, so it's really not the kind of a venue where you would need any sort of, you know, permanent... Um, Big studio lighting grid or something, yeah. Yeah, because okay. probably wouldn't, it probably wouldn't um, hold up in the weather over time True. anyway. True, yeah. So. Okay, yeah. so you're you're ready to go. We're, but the biggest news of all, really, is you have nine performances lined up on yeah. Friday nights. Yeah. Uh, free performances. Yes. Starting June thirtieth and running right through the end of August. Mm -hmm. How did you do that, Sarah? <laughs> how, did you, how did you get all these entertainers together <laughs> in such a short period of time to put on some some great yeah. performances for free? <laughs> Well, they're not all for free, and th and that's oh. where I want to say thank you to the mayor and the city and everyone for for allocating um, a, a budget to us, and we were able to bring in some big names for that, and yeah. that's just fabulous, you know. And uh, yeah, so 
Let's talk about them. <laughs> yeah, well, what's what's going to be happening at the Ruth Gordon Amphitheater for okay. the well, summer of 2023? Yeah, so we're, we're starting off with opening night. Um, so that's on June 30th uh, at 6 o'clock. Most of the events are at 6. Okay. Um, we're calling them Friends Fridays. Yep. Um, and it's for real, you know, it's brought, brought in collaboration with the city of Quincy, which is just, I, I'm very happy about that, okay. um, that we are moving in that direction. So, um, so opening night is open mic night. It's your stage, and we have uh, the Rudder Kings, which is Kevin Coughlin's band. Oh, okay. Uh, he's been a wonderful supporter. So, uh, they're going to host host the night, and um, and actually that that night is turning out to be really fabulous because um, we have there's a there's a band called the Freight. That are really great, and they're most most of them are from Quincy, mm. um, and they're most likely coming. Um, I haven't got the final word from them <laughs> yet. Okay. But um, if you go on our Facebook page, you'll see their uh, their photo shoot that they did at the amphitheater, and they're um, they're fabulous. But they're um, likely coming. We have um, Mike Delaney who does the uh, the open um, mic at Farmers Market. Yes. Um, he sort of heads that up. He's coming. We have about we have Mel uh, Mel Gillespie from Melodrama. She she does a fabulous uh, cranberries um, cover. Oh, so she's 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 going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then we have um, even some uh, some poetry um, uh, happening as well. Yeah. So it's it's going to be like we're just. Oh, and I should I should mention yep. our Bollywood dancers. Bollywood. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so Shiv, uh, who does the Multicultural Festival. I have met Shiv. Yes, yes she's yes. wonderful. She was very helpful. And um, and so she was able to connect me with, with this fabulous group okay. of uh, Indian dancers. So they're they're coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's even uh, a special tribute night uh, to your late father. Yes. Who designed yeah. in the uh, amphitheater, right? Yeah. yeah. So people felt that, that you know, I, I've been hearing from a lot of people that... Um, uh, we have, of course, the tribute to Ruth, <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> to Ruth uh, Gordon, yeah, very important. Um, but you know, it was said to me that it would be nice if we could do some kind of tribute to um, my dad as well. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, sure. So what would he <laughs> think, Sarah, about uh, what's going on with the amphitheater today? I think it's 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 fabulous. What would um, he think, though? What oh, what would he? What think? would your dad think? Oh. Yeah. Um, he he would love this. Yeah. You know, I think as I mentioned before, he he was a musician himself. Right. Yeah. Um. So he would absolutely love it. Um. You know, on the night that we're honoring him, Celtic uh, Celtic Quincy, yep. we are having some uh, Celtic music because that was my dad's. You know, that was my dad's thing. Okay. Um. And also because Quincy has a big Celtic um, root, mm -hmm. you know, history, so that's kind of nice. Um. But yeah, he he would he would love it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So did, I mean, do you have contacts with all these different groups that are coming, or you know? No, you know, and I I want to say also a shout out to Lynn Hudson, Kay. who has been a, a great help also. Um, so she she helped me in uh, booking the Room Full of Blues. It's a great uh, act. With John Hall, yeah. yeah. Okay. He helped as well. So the two of them were a great help. It, I, I think that took me about two weeks of, <laughs> of work just booking them. I'm sure. And their sound because they're an eight piece band and they yeah. have a lot of sound requirements and um, our budget is tight. So it took a lot of um, finagling, but um, but we're super excited to to have them. And then uh, Lynn Lynn was able to book Rocky Thomas, um, which he's coming on July seventh, and. Uh, she also was able to uh, get Alana Katz, who is a, a fabulous um, singer in Appalachian style uh, folk mm. that's going to come with him. So um, as a sort of a special guest. So oh, that's okay. really going to be a wonderful night. Yeah. You mentioned, um, you know, this is the, uh, they aren't free because of the city budget, but they're free admission, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Free admission. Yeah. Yes. And again, I, I'm very grateful for even just any any budget at all, you know. And hopefully, I, my hope is that the city will see that the people love this place and that this is a, a valuable venue to go forward. So increase funding in the yeah. future for it. Well, I yeah. do think that in order to do this type of program in the future, we'll probably need a little bit 
of a bigger budget sure. you know, going forward. Sure. Yeah. So, and once once the nonprofit is established, folks can make donations. Can make donations, right? sure. Yeah. yeah. As well, and they'll yeah, be tax yeah. deductible yeah. too. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, the August fourth. Uh, remembering Ruth, a Ruth Gordon tribute night. It'll be from seven to eleven yes. that evening. Yeah. Yes, that is is um, probably our most important night. Sure. I mean, not to not to put hierarchies here on anything because <laughs> everything is so wonderful. Right. But you know, Ruth Gordon has just become someone that I I kind of look up to mm. and admire greatly. Um, yeah, as I've learned more and more about her throughout this process. And um, we have a great night planned. So we're going to do a screening of her, two of her more well-known films, um, Harold and Maude, which has a great cult following. Yeah. And uh, then, then we'll have a late night showing of uh, Rosemary's Baby. Which was, of course, widespread showing. And, yeah. And, and a huge acclaim. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, so that's going to be terrific. But what's really exciting is that her grandson, Jack Harris, is going to be joining us and he's going to bring his son so her grandson and her great-grandson wow. um, will be in attendance that's wonderful yes yeah and um, we're going to be starting the night off uh, with um, a song by Cat Stevens I, I'm not sure if others are familiar but Cat Stevens he has a um, he, I've forgotten his name now he goes by Yusuf the, Islam oh there you go <laughs> Yes, okay, yeah. so Yusuf, um, he actually wrote uh, all of the Harold and Maude um, soundtrack. Oh, okay. So um, we're going to start out with, with one of his songs, Morning Has Broken, sure. yeah. um, by Marcus Johnson. And then we're going to follow that with a theatrical um, performance by a wonderful actress, Ann Danby, um, a, a Quincy actress hmm. who I've She's become uh, a major, you know, part of our group. Really? She's, she's really fabulous. And um, she's going to, she and I are kind of working together on, um, mostly Anne, though, is, is pulling together uh, theatrical scenes from um, Ruth Gordon's life. Okay. And uh, we're, we have some other actors and actresses that are involved. And then we're going to do that first. Okay. For about right. 30 so minutes be before we screen. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be kind of a, 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 yeah. a, a fun filled night with a little bit of everything. And so. I would think for her, her son, but especially her grandson, to see that performance and be very meaningful. Yes. Because uh, yeah, probably didn't know his grandmother, right? Yes, yeah. probably, yeah. Yeah. So um, we're just delighted that, um, that Jack is going to come. And, you know, I just want to thank um, Maggie McGee mm -hmm. for reaching out to Jack. Um, Maggie, Maggie and Jack are both in the same field of uh, physics, um, so they have that, that connection. And um, and she put me in touch with him, and it's been and really wonderful. And lo and behold, you have a show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, how will you do the movies, Sarah? We have like a portable screen, or how yes. Is that um, okay. So we we have a uh, um, a outdoor screen yes, and yeah. projector that the Quincy Rec has oh, okay, um, okay. that we're going to, to use. I'm, I'm going to actually be doing a technical run through <laughs> just oh, to be sure very good. everything is working. Yes. And if not, there's always the, the rent, you know, rent the screen, route, okay. which I've also researched. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. But, yeah. All right. So you have a plan. <laughs> yes, we have a plan. Very good. Yeah. There will be some refreshments, I understand. Yes, <laughs> we have. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have Break Rock Brewery, which is um, Jay from Break Rock Brewery. Yep. Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to do a pop-up. Um, I believe they're going to just set up there in that new pavilion. Seems like a perfect spot. It really does, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, the city's getting the food trucks for us. Um, oh, okay. So we're going to have uh, food, drink, and, you know, it's, it's in the after work hours. If you work, just, you know, pop by after work. Right, and yep. Enjoy a little happy hour, you know, free entertainment, and um, and if you don't work, then you know <laughs> you don't have to worry about that part. You can come early. <laughs> sure. Well, there's plenty of free parking up there, you know, yes. which is very attractive. Yeah. Um, and if folks haven't seen uh, the newly renovated Pageant Field, it's it's worth a trip up, it up there. It really looks amazing. There's it's a beautiful. New half mile uh, asphalt uh, walking trail along the yes. entire perimeter. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of uh, Pageant Field as well. So yeah. beautiful vistas of Quincy Bay and Black's Creek. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's gonna be a nice evening for sure. Yeah. And I'm I'm really excited for also like Quincy Rocks. You know. That, that's a night that we're actually having some local um, bands from Quincy come oh, okay. um, that are uh, 
younger um, bands that are very popular. One of the bands is they're just in, uh, just graduating from high school. Wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> Daisy, but they've already got a great following and they're fabulous. So um, we've got Daisy, Sweet Nothings, and John Gorey. Nice. Um, yeah. So we're we've got a lot, and then of course Improv Boston is going to be here on July 28th, and on August 18th we have our Beatles tribute band. Oh. Studio Two. So there really is something for everyone, um, it sounds like, and you've really yeah. tried to put a local focus on it, it sounds like. If yes, we focus on it, yes, yeah. we have, yeah. yeah. So, well. so it's exciting, we hope everyone, oh, I, I should not neglect Studio Ghibli. Um, that's really popular right now, what is actually. Um, so this is, this is uh, I don't know if you're an anime fan at all, but um, yeah, anime has just really taken off, and, and manga, um, which are the, you know, um, graphic n books, graphic novels. Okay. Like um, it's it's very very popular with our our young people, so um, so that should be a really a fun night. It's like an Academy Award winning film. Oh, okay. Um, that if you haven't seen it, it's just um, really wonderful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, um, any uh, plans for fall events right now, or I mean, is this, this you know? It's, I I'm still hearing from people <laughs> who yeah. want to play and okay. want to perform. So uh, I I don't know. You know, okay. I have to talk. You know, I'd have to talk to. Um, uh, Dave Murphy and C, but I think for now, um, you know, I think for now this is good. Uh, we do. I I would love to also do a little historic like lectures. And mm -hmm. honestly, we had we had hoped to do the Wednesday nights as well, but it just didn't um, it didn't work out. That's so kind of how it all started, right? The the Summerfest concert series. Uh, uh, oh, on uh, Wednesdays, Wednesday on Wednesdays. Is that on Wednesdays? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we had we had hoped to do like more um, children's programming uh. and and things like that on Wednesdays. So um, uh, I think that maybe next season. Next you know, season. We'll <laughs> there you are we talking about next season? Okay. Yeah. So, but for the I mean, for the time being, it's an amazing uh, feat in a short period of time to put uh, you know nine performances uh, together. Yes, and I just also want to thank um, you know our uh, core group sure, <laughs> sure, yes. who really worked hard to save this place. Yep. Um, I feel indebted. I think we all feel indebted to people like Kathy Mason. And uh, Helene Sansui, um, who who really were um, Laurie Earl and mm -hmm. Maria Mulligan. I'm th this group has really been the force that kind of brought us all together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I hate to. Um, I always try to you know thank people because Absolutely. I know that I'm kind of I've kind of become like. Um, the leader of the gang, I guess you could say. <laughs> but I, I, um, I would not be here talking to you right now if it weren't for the hard work of all of those people. And, uh, and so we're very grateful to them and so many more. Sure. So uh, and they're they're welcome to join you uh, here again uh, as well. So uh, mm -hmm. we'd love to talk to them throughout the uh, throughout the series and, and, and yeah. get updates. Or if there's anything new to report, we'd be happy to to yeah. let you share that with the community as well. Yeah. Anything else we'd like to let folks know about right now? Um, no, I just would really encourage everybody to come out because we have put a, put together a lot of effort sure. um, to schedule these events. And thank you to to Dave Murphy also for his great work mm -hmm. um, collaborating with me on this. And um, you know, Mayor Cope, we'd love to see you as well. So um, <laughs> you know, but if everybody could come out and enjoy, that would that would be terrific because. Um, uh, we really want to show our support not only for the entertainers but also for for the amphitheater. Yes, um, that's still very that's still very important, you know. To prove that it still has a relevant place in, yes. in Quincy. Yes. Right, um, you know. Yeah. And as you mentioned, supporting the performers. If the performers see you know a vibrant turnout, they'll be more encouraged to come back and share their story with people in their field, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, uh, friends of RGA.org will be up and running soon. Up and running soon, yes. <laughs> so and folks should check In the meantime, the, the, the Facebook page is very um, vibrant. <laughs> okay, all right. So follow you there. Yes. Okay. Good to Thank see you, Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you for coming over. I appreciate it. Okay. Great to talk to you. And Thank congratulations you. on your success. Oh, congratulations to, to us all to the for group. pulling this yeah. together. Yeah. And thank you for watching us here at AM Quincy. I'm Joe Catalano. We'll see you next time.